All right, good evening all. Um, this is going to be a quick tutorial on now that you've signed up for Bluehost, how do you actually get your website installed? Um, what you are going to need is you're going to need a CMS system to use. Um, the one that I use is WordPress. Um, that's the one I actually would recommend using. It's the, one of the most used worldwide. Um, but you do have other choices from Bluehost. I mean, they've got a a boatload of uh, different kinds that you can install but uh, I'm going to show you how I install WordPress. The other thing that I will show you how we're going to um, the other thing that I'm going to show you is how to use a subdomain because um, I think almost all the Bluehost packages come with subdomains um, where they come in handy is you can set up a subdomain that's a test WordPress site that you can use to test out uh, different kinds of plugins to make sure that they work before you actually put them on your production site. Um, other things that you can do is like for my class reunion for example um, we needed a website up real quick so instead of going out and buying our own domain setting up a whole new web hosting service just for our reunion events um, I actually created a subdomain under my uh, Mark Dodd photography website and uh, we just use that but uh, let's just get into it here and so once you've created your account you're going to be sent to the Bluehost cPanel page which you see here it may have more sections showing up for you when you're here I mean like all the ones that you see in blue right now off hidden because uh, uh, we're not going to use those in this demo but the, the section we're looking at is websites um, we've got a couple different ways you can install um, WordPress. I'm not quite sure why they give you so many different options, but they've got options. You can choose multiple ways of doing this. Um, like right here under websites, you got the install WordPress. That installs WordPress through the Mojo Marketplace. And then we've got these one-click installs. I'll actually go into that now just to show you what all they have under there. Again, I apologize. My home connection is not the fastest, so it's taking a little while right now. So that sends you over to the Mojo Marketplace. But this is what I was saying: is like you've got a whole bunch of CMS systems to choose from. WordPress is just one of them. Joomla. Uh, that's another one I've heard of. Drupal is another one I've heard of. But the, they've got a whole lot of systems here that you can choose from. And like if you're setting up a store. Um, there's store options here. Actually, I haven't tried any of them, so I'm not sure. But you've got a whole bunch of stuff that you can choose from. E-commerce. Yeah, here's the e-commerce section right here. Then you got um, Moodle. Is uh, If you're, people are familiar with Blackboard or Moodle, it's like a course management system that a lot of co colleges and universities use. This is one thing here that I've also used is a Lime survey. It's a, a way of creating a quick survey. Um, that you can give people, but um, you can do that through this interface here. But we're going to go back to the cPanel. <clears throat> I'll just show you this other install WordPress option, um, which is the if you're on my page um, that talks about Bluehost, um, that's the one that has uh, all the steps listed on the page that will be underneath this video. So, you get, as with everything with Bluehost, they like to make money. So, they give you the option of uh, using their service, to, and they do it for you. And you can choose whichever service you want, if you want. Or you can do the do-it-yourself option, which is this install. But I'm not going to do that one, because I, um, I try to keep it as minimal as possible. And it, uh, that one seems to install a few extra things that uh, I just didn't want at the time. So, all right. First thing we want to do is, um, since my domain's already set up, I'm going to have to do this for the demo. But it's also a good way of showing you how you can create a test bed site using one of the subdomains that um, Bluehost gives you. So first, I'm going to go to my domain manager and then click on subdomains. Here you can call it whatever you want. Um, in this case, I'm just going to call it demo. Um, like if you're doing this for the test bed system, 
you might call a test bed, um, but then you can actually tell it where you want the directory to go. By default, it's going to use the same name as the host. And I will just stick with that. So we'll go ahead and create that. And it's taking its time. All right, so and I now have a subdomain called demo.mark.photography.com. I can return back to my subdomain just to make sure it's in the list. There it is in the list. But now I can go back to hosting. And let me get rid of this screen. Oh, this is one screen that you will get when you first sign in to your uh, cPanel. Um, it gives you the buttons for setting up the various things that you need to do. Um, this one, you if you've used Bluehost actually as your domain provider, I'm mean, not going to need to do this one. It's popping up for me because I actually don't use Bluehost to host my domains. I already had my domain created with another service um, before I moved to Bluehost, so I just kept it with that other service. But you can use this to create your email account. Most of the plans that Bluehost have have at least one email account. And then you can use this to set up your website, which I think actually send you to the tool that I'm actually going to go to, so which is right here. So, all right, so let me get rid of this screen here. I don't know why this one keeps coming up, but we're going to get rid of this. So this is the way I installed mine, is I chose WordPress Tools. And that will send us to a page where you can actually install WordPress. Come down here and choose New Installation. We'll get rid of that. Um, here's where you'd actually choose your domain. If this is your uh, the first um, WordPress site that you're setting up on here, and that's going to be your primary domain, that's what you would choose up here. But for this demo, I had to create that uh, subdomain called demo, and that's listed here. Um, we don't need to put a path underneath because it's already um, the demo folder. This would be a subfolder of this website. I didn't generally do not put anything here, but you do have to give your your uh, blog a name. So I'll just call this my demo site, and then uh, give yourself usernames, your admin username, and put in your address. Make sure there's, this is all correct, and you definitely remember, write this down if you have to, but remember your username and password. The password is case sensitive, I do not believe the username is. But then you go ahead and click install WordPress. This installs and creates the database backend, as well as installs all the WordPress files and the default templates that come with WordPress. Um, it's like 2016, I think is the, the current one that comes with it, but we will find out once this gets done. And that's as quickly as it got done, and this is where it was actually stored. This is the um, path that we gave when we created the site, the uh, subdomain, and your public HTML is the, the top level of your websites. Um, your primary website is going to be at that level. Um, there is a way to put it in a subdirectory. Uh, I won't get into that here today. Um, but if you follow WordPress's instructions, there's a way to do that. Let me just click refresh now. No, I don't want to save the password. And I'll come up and tell you that that's your, your website that was just created. It automatically puts www at the beginning that's no big deal, but now you can now go and log in to this website that we just created all in a few minutes after we're signed up for Bluehost. And again, apologize, my network's not the fastest here at home. It's taking a little bit to actually open up the website. Depending upon your network bandwidth speed, this, this may be faster. So once you've logged in, you get sent to the dashboard site. And you can ch choose to have it help you walk through the stuff that you need for launching your site. So actually, let's, let's see what this does, because I actually haven't followed this. So there's the 
site title that we typed in from the page before and this is the description of the site. Um, you'll see where this shows up in a minute. Ah, we'll say yes. And then you can choose um, whether it's going to be blogs on the front page, blog entries, or static front page. Well, well I usually choose blog, so I'm going to choose blog. Uh, let's create a contact. Um, you can do that through WordPress.com to get the jetpack. I actually would recommend getting the jetpack. So I w if I were you, I would do this. But, um, for the demo, I'm not actually going to do it, not now. So this gives you a quick view of the website as it looks now. I'm using just the default um, 2016 template. And we can actually come over here to, to I'm sorry, themes. So we can actually come over here to themes and click themes and see what it actually is showing that we're using. Yes, I was right. So we're using the 2016 one. It also comes with 2015 and 14. These are um, previous um, templates that come from WordPress. You've got the um, other options where you can buy a theme if you want, or you can go to WordPress.org and um, find some free themes. That's actually what I did for my website. Or if you find it from other sources, you can choose upload here. But let's just go back to the dashboard for a minute. So I, I want to show you something if it shows up. We'll close this now because we're, we're done that. The one thing I do like about installing it through this method is it actually um, hides your site right now while you're doing the initial setup. Um, let's see if we can actually go and show you what people will see right now. If they try to go to it. Oh, that's because I'm I'm signed in, so I will go and do this on a another browser here real quick. Let's so we'll close that. Come on out of Firefox. You can come out. There we go. I will show you this in a second here once I get it ready. So right now, until you uncheck that box that uh, we showed you a second ago, um, this is what people will see. Um, this is actually a good thing when you're initially setting up your site, because that way you can get everything ready. If somebody did happen to go to your actual domain, this is what you're gonna, they're going to see until you're ready to let them see what you want them to. So let me close. Um, we'll just go back to the other sites. But once you've gotten, you've, you've picked your theme that you want to use, you've customized it, you've done your plugins that you want to add to it, and all, and you've created new content through either posts or pages, is when you can come up here and actually click this to remove that uh, splash screen so that your, your content actually comes live. But since you're logged in, like you saw a minute ago, you will actually still see, actually see the site as you make changes. Um, and I know this one doesn't look that impressive because I don't have any pictures added to it. And it is just a basic template. But uh, that just gives you an idea of how quickly you can get a web page set up and uh, start adding content to it. So actually, let me go back to the dashboard here. So let's just add a new post real quick, just for grins. Before I end tonight, my first post. This is the body of my first post. And then click publish. Now if I go back to the site and refresh it, I should now see that post show up. And here it is, right here, my first post, and there's the body. But uh, yeah, there, um, 
So we've installed WordPress, it created the database for us. You don't have to have any database experience, it does it all for you on the back end. It installs the basic templates and lets get you logged in to your WordPress site. Um, there's a whole I may or may not do a whole another video on doing the um, configuring of templates, choosing templates, choosing plugins. There's a whole lot of resources out there and you can always get help from, from WordPress by choosing the documentation and the support forms up here. But this just gets you started. Um, I'm sure you will enjoy it, but that's how easy it is to get started with Bluehost. You just sign up for the service, pick how long you want the service to be for, you can get your domain through them, and then use that one-click um, option to install WordPress under the domain that you had created. But again, it's like once you've got a uh, create your WordPress site on your primary domain first, and then I would go back and um, go back to that uh, domains option and go to to uh, click on domains here. Sorry. And go, go to subdomains and create yourself a subdomain that you can install a test bed WordPress site on. Since you're not actually live right now, you can pretty much do everything on your production site. But once you are in production, before you make any changes like plugins, for example, I would always go and test it on your test bed site first. I actually had one instance where one of the plugins that I decided to try and use. Um, actually ended up crashing my site but since it was on my test bed site no real worries there I was able to back out of it and um, uninstall the plugin get everything working again but it did not take down my production site so that's one thing I would definitely stress on doing is use the subdomain option to create yourself a test bed site and install the same version of WordPress on it um, and then also install all the plugins and the customization that you've done on your production site on the test bed so they are the same to start with. And then go in and try new plugins. There's a whole boatload of plugins that you can get for WordPress. Um, there's a plugin to do almost anything you can think of. But I would test it on your test bed site first. Once you know it's working fine there, you can then go and install the plugin on your production site and um, use the same settings that you already set up from your test bed site. But uh, thank you for watching, and uh, that's the quick and easy way of getting online with WordPress and Bluehost. Thank you.